Researchers have begun to unlock some of the mysteries surrounding migraines, raising new hopes for a new class of treatments. Joining us with the details is WSJ's pharma and biotech reporter, Jonathan Rockoff. So Jonathan, thank you for being here. Uh, very important topic, 36 million Americans suffer from migraines. What's the science behind this new breakthrough? 36 million Americans suffer from it, and millions do not have any good treatment for it. And so for decades, researchers have been trying to figure out what causes migraines and to use that knowledge to develop new, more effective treatments. What they found was, well, they found a lot of different things. They found some genes that are responsible for it. But they also found that there's this neurotransmitter that goes by the nickname CGRP. It's a neurotransmitter that's involved in pain signaling in the brain. And when a migraine happens, this neurotransmitter kicks into action, and it causes the pain that migraine sufferers feel. And that's what, why the attacks can be so debilitating. And so what drug companies are trying to do is develop drugs that will sort of stop CGRP this neurotransmitter from, from acting. And the neurotransmitter finding is big because, you know, we always try all these different things when we get migraines. There are a lot of different ideas behind what causes them. Um, what are the, what kind of treatments could actually affect this? I, I saw your piece, there are injections, there are also pills. What's the difference? Right, yeah, so um, right now there's a variety of different medicines out there for migraines, and most of them were never developed for migraines at all. They're like blood pressure drugs or ibuprofen, you know, Advil. They just happened to help a little bit. Happened to help a little bit based on an outdated theory of what migraines were caused by, actually. So this would be one of the first drugs to, these would be this class of CGRP inhibitors inhibitors would be like one of the first classes specifically targeting migraines because they go after this overactive pain signaling in the brain that we know CGRP is involved in. And um, initially the drugs were mostly pills because people prefer to, to you know, swallow a pill. Mm -hmm. There were some safety issues with one of them and so a lot of companies focused on developing injections or infusions. It could be like just a, you know, some, a needle that you sort of inject yourself at home. It could be something like that. But Allergan, which sells Botox for chronic migraines, is also working on pills that you could take for for uh, migraines as well. These drugs could hit the market as if, th if they sort of pass through testing and the FDA finishes their reviews and approves them. These drugs could hit the market as early as 2018, maybe wow. 19. That's great news. And of course, sci scientists will continue to research migraines because this is not the end of it, unfortunately. Um, you mentioned biomarkers are a big deal. Why are they looking at those and what clues could those give, give scientists? So even these CGRP drugs, as promising as they may be, they're probably not gonna help all patients. That's important to know. Um, they might help patients more than the current crop of drugs that are available, but they aren't gonna sort of cure migraines. One of the best ways to figure out how to treat um, patients with any condition is to identify key indicators or biomarkers for that condition and maybe such find drugs that can uh, work in those specific patients who exhibit these biomarkers or to tailor the treatment based on what the biomarkers are telling us. Uh, any other triggers that we're learning more about or things that cause these migraines? Because as we talked about, they're different for everybody and the symptoms can be very different too. Yeah, it's a very heterogeneous condition. And, um, uh, you know, some of the initial treatment is before we get to drugs is focused on the triggers. Like if you right. have stress in your life or if you skip a meal or maybe you drink some wine or chocolate. So one of the initial things, unfortunately, unfortunately I know worse. all the things that you want in your diet. They, right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's part of the reason why this condition is just so terrible, right? Um, so one of the things that doctors tell migraine patients to do is to sort of look at your day and, and chronicle what you, the activities during your day to see what happened before you had a migraine attack. And if you can see a correlation between eating chocolate or drinking wine or skipping meal and having an attack, then they ask you to take that out. And last but not least, what does yawning tell us? <laughs> so yawning actually is highly correlated with um, with migraines. Um, like so I if you notice you're yawning a lot? If you're yawning a lot and you're a migraine sufferer, it probably means you're gonna have a, a migraine attack. Fascinating. All right, well, thank you so much for being here. Hopefully this is a great breakthrough and uh, we'll definitely follow it. 2018 might be the year.